everybody what's going on welcome back to the channel my name is terry hope you guys and gals are doing well sorry i just got done streaming i'm gonna take off my blue light blocking glasses here so yeah you know what um there's actually a feature here inside of obs studio that not a lot of people actually know about and that is how you can create a custom dock to where you could essentially put any kind of web page you want right at your fingertips directly inside of obs and if you might be asking to yourself well hey what is a dock inside of obs well you know how whenever you sign in to twitch inside of obs studio how your chat shows up and you can drag it around or pull it out of the obs window or nest it inside of obs inside of the uh, window itself well that chat is inside of a dock okay and i'm going to show you how you can actually add a custom one right now the one i'm going to use as an example is one for a good friend of mine she was like hey terry uh i still use Streamlabs for my alerts and for my event lists and everything and i no longer use Streamlabs desktop to stream so can i get that event list inside of obs studio and the to answer that yes you sure can here's how you do it all right, everybody. So first, what you want to do is you want to go to streamlabs.com and go ahead and sign in with whatever account you want. But for this example here and for the whole video here, we're going to be using your Twitch account. Okay, so go ahead and sign in via Twitch. Then all you want to do is this here. You want to click on this link right here for your recent events. You want to go up here to the address bar. Make sure this is all highlighted. And then you want to go in and copy that. Okay, and then right here inside of OBS Studio, you wanna go up here to Docs, Custom Browser Dock, and as you'll see, I actually already have it in here. So just to do it again, go ahead and give this here a custom name. I'm gonna call this here Streamlabs. And then for the URL, you wanna go ahead and just paste it in there and hit Apply. And it will go ahead and actually give you a custom dock that you can go ahead and put right in here inside of your obs studio window just like this here and then of course you want to go ahead and sign in with whatever platform it is but again you want to go ahead and sign in with twitch if you're following along with this video now whenever you first log in it's going to literally be your streamlabs dashboard inside of obs studio so it might look like this here okay that's not a big deal fam go ahead and just get out of that go ahead and drag this out to make it a little bit bigger and then you can go ahead and click on recent events just like that there again. And as you can see, everything on the side and top here is still visible, but that's not a big deal. You can actually just make this a little bit smaller like that there. And as you will see, your event list is still visible. Just all that extra stuff won't be there to take up room. So yeah, you know, add in a custom browser doc. I believe this was put into uh, OBS Studio as a feature a couple of releases ago. And personally, I've been taking advantage of it myself. Uh, sometimes what I do is I straight up just put a YouTube video or like a YouTube player inside of a doc. And that way there, I don't have to go to YouTube in a web browser to pause music, look up another video for music or whatever it might be. I have my Streamlabs dash in there. I used to do a custom chat doc for Trovo before it got integrated whenever I was testing it out. So, I mean, these custom browser docs are actually really cool and they add a whole new level of flexibility to the already expanding uh, feature set of OBS Studio. So look, if you wanna see more content like this here on the channel, do me a huge favor, get this video liked, get subscribed. I would really Really appreciate it and of course it will help out the channel a, a huge amount so thank you so much i hope this might have answered some of y'all questions out there and how you might see other people doing this and if you have any questions please sound off in the comments below until otherwise happy gaming and i'll catch you guys and gals next time